Have you ever found yourself frustrated because every time you make changes to a Docker container, you end up with a new image? It can feel like a never-ending cycle, right? Well, today we're going to explore a solution to this common Docker dilemma. I totally get it. You want to keep your Docker images clean and manageable, but every commit creates a new image, cluttering your workspace. You're not alone in this struggle. Many Docker users face the same issues. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, is it possible to issue the commit command on a currently running container and save the changes to the existing image instead of creating a new one? If you've ever wondered the same, stick around as we dive into this topic. So what's the deal with Docker commits? When you use the commit command, Docker creates a new image based on the current state of your container. This is great for versioning, but it can lead to a lot of unnecessary images if you're making frequent changes. And don't go anywhere. By the end of this video, I'll share a workaround that can help you manage your Docker images more efficiently. To address the user's question, it's important to understand that the docker commit command always creates a new image. Unfortunately, there is no direct way to save changes to an existing image from a running container using the commit command. However, the user can achieve a similar effect by using a different approach. Instead of committing changes to the existing image, the user can create a new image with a specific tag that reflects the changes made. To do this, the user should first identify the container ID of the running container. This can be done by using the docker ps command to list all running containers. Once the user has the container ID, they can execute the commit command to create a new image. It's a good practice to include a meaningful tag to indicate the changes made. Finally, the user can verify that the new image has been created successfully by listing all images using the docker images command. This will show the newly created image alongside existing ones. Fun fact, did you know that Docker was originally developed by Solomon Hikes as an internal project at DotCloud? It has since transformed the way we think about application deployment. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach shared by a user involves making changes to a running container before committing it. First, they suggest installing Git in the container. After making the changes, you can detach from the shell without exiting using Ctrl-P and Ctrl-Q. Finally, to save your changes, use the docker commit command followed by the container ID and the new image name. The user emphasizes that Docker encourages frequent commits, similar to version control, allowing you to save your progress at any point in the container's history. Here's a pro tip. Consider using Docker tags to manage your images better. Tags can help you keep track of different versions without cluttering your workspace with multiple images. And there you have it. While you can't commit changes directly to an existing image, you now know how to create a new one and keep your Docker environment organized. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more Docker tips and tricks.